in this video we are going to see supernode analysis that is application of kcl whenever a voltage source is present between two nodes with dependent sources present we will see in this video so here is the problem we are supposed to get the node voltages present in the circuit so there are so many nodes they have marked and we have to get potential of all the nodes now while solving what we will do out of the five nodes one has to be a reference so what we will do we will take a reference point over here where the negative end of a independent voltage source is connected so let's consider this as a reference then potential of this node we will take as vx why vx if you see carefully if this is a reference this will automatically go to node number 2 and the potential of this node will become a vx similarly this negative is connected to reference so potential of the node number 4 will be vy over here let's consider this as vz no need to mark over here because straight away this potential will be 12 volt so the potential of this point is 12 so maybe we can mark this with a variable va but ultimately it won't be a variable as such it's a known quantity and the potential will be 12 volt that we will see later on the important thing is that while marking the branch currents so first priority will be given to the current sources so current sources will maintain its current direction second priority will be given to the voltages marked by them to maintain the polarity so plus minus is the polarity for voltage given by them in order to maintain that current need to be passed like this and in the last we will mark the current direction the way we want for the resistors so i have marked the current directions like this i have not marked the current directions to the only voltage sources over here it's an independent and here it's dependent now what i will do the first and the most important thing is that i will mark over here a va minus 0 as 12 the equation of independent voltage source so va equal to 12 it's required while solving the problem now node x let's apply case here incoming current is 14 ampere and these two are outgoing this is vx minus vz upon 2 and over here vx minus 0 upon 0.5 so this will give a equation so now i will uh, simplify this quickly vx by 2 is nothing but a 0.5 vx and 1 upon 0.5 is nothing but 2 so basically 2 vx plus 0.5 2.5 vx no vy term present and vz is coefficient minus 1 by 2 is minus 0.5 vz constant is 14 as it is equation number 1 similarly i can apply 
KCl to node Y. But hold on. See the problem whenever I apply KCl to node Y. There are three branches, but two are having a resistor, so there is no problem while applying KCL equation. But third is having a only voltage source, and that voltage source is a dependent voltage source. So theory tells we cannot apply KCL directly to that particular node where voltage source is present. Same is the hurdle for node number 3 also because the voltage source is present between node 3 and 4 or rather Vy or Vz. So we need to write the equation of voltage source. So the equation of voltage source will be for that purpose I will draw this dependent voltage source over here. Positive end is connected to Vz and negative to Vy. So this implies Vz minus Vy equal to 0 0.2 Vy is the value of this dependent voltage source. Upon simplifying, we will get 1.2 Vy minus Vz equal to 0 as equation number 2. Remember we need three equations because three unknowns are there. So let's apply KCL to the super node which is forming a combination of this node Y and node Z. So once again, node Y having one incoming branch current which has started from this VA ending on VY and VA is nothing but 12. So uh, I can say incoming current 12 minus VY upon 1. Now I'll go to node Z and write the equation for incoming current. So this is incoming current. So I added to the already present incoming current at node y vx minus vz upon 2 plus this is a current source having the value 0.5 vx which is incoming only. So if you see carefully for this node two incoming currents are there I have noted down for this node one incoming current I have noted down. We have to write the outgoing currents now. So this is outgoing current for node Y which has started at Vy ending on reference and the resistance is 2.5. Let's go to node Z. So there is no outgoing current at node Z so I can say it is 0. Let's simplify this. So upon simplifying, what we will get? I will take this Vy upon 2.5 on this side and this constant 12 by 1 which is 12 on another side of the equation. Vx will have the coefficient 1 by 2 over here. 1 by 2 is nothing but 0.5 and this is also 0.5. So basically it's a 1. Simple. Vy already here minus 1 and this will come over here. So basically it is minus 1 upon 2.5. So which is nothing but 0.4 or anyways we can keep this as it is. Minus 1 upon 2.5. So this is for Vy. For Vz it is minus 1 by 2. So all the 
vh vy vz we have taken on the left hand side of the equation so on the right hand side of the equation we will get a constant so the only constant present over here is uh, 12 on the left hand side we can take this on this side so it's minus 12 equation number 3 So we have three equations and three unknowns. Upon solving these three equations, we will get the value of v1, v2, and v3. So upon solving these three equations, we will get vx as a tool, vy as 10 volt. And Vz as 12 volt. So node number 2 is nothing but x, and we got that voltage as 8. Node number 4 is a node y for us, and the potential is 10. Node number 3 is like a z, potential is 12. So I'll write over here. This is the V2 as per their convention. This is V4. This is V3. V1 will be the reference, hence, potential will be 0. So 1 is over, 2 is over, 3 is there, 4, and V5 is nothing but 12 because there is a battery between this node and the reference. So in the end, in the circuit, we got voltages of all the nodes present in the circuit. I hope you understood the problem. Thank you.